so here it is, my list of best movies of 2015 coming out in 2016. Yeah, I know, I'm, uh, I'm a little late. So I just want to clarify before I start that I didn't get to see every movie this year, as I, some of you may have known that have been with me since the beginning, that I started my YouTube channel in the middle of the year, so I didn't get to see every movie, and that this is more of just my own personal opinion. This is like more of my favorite movies of the year. These are the movies that I'm willing to buy on Blu-ray or like go back and see again in theaters and everything, and to me, like the, in my opinion, what were the best quality movies of the year. Um, some of you may agree, some of you may disagree, either way, let's get going. Number 10 we have Jurassic World. Well more like the last 20 minutes of Jurassic World. Yeah like the last 20 minutes of the movie were really the part that got it on this list. I mean the whole movie was entertaining enough up until the last part was things really got good. I'm not gonna spoil it for you what happens in the last 20 minutes but I'm just saying that yeah like the movie leading up to it it's okay but like you know, it's all worth it just for the last 20 minutes. I want to go see this movie twice just so I can watch the end again. Um, and that's a good thing, though. Number nine, we have Ant-Man. Ant-Man was one of my favorite movies of the year simply because Marvel was able to pull off Ant-Man. I mean, how... Who could say that? I mean, it's Ant-Man. I don't even really know that much about him. I'm a hardcore comic book geek. I don't even really like him. I thought, he's a stupid superhero. But the thing that made this movie so good is that they acknowledge he is a stupid superhero. And they have fun with it. They didn't try to make it dark or serious or anything. And it was legitimately well written. It had great characters. It was a fun story. And I will definitely buy it on DVD or Blu-ray when it comes out. That is why I put it as number 9 on my top 10 movies of 2015. Number eight, we have The Man from Uncle. I really enjoyed The Man from Uncle more than I thought I would. I went in knowing nothing about the original TV show or the source material, and I ended up really enjoying it. It was one of my favorite spy movies of the year. I really enjoyed it. I loved the characters. I thought Henry Cavill was great. I thought Army Hammer was great. I thought all the actors in the movie were great. I really loved the way it was shot. I loved the action. I loved the cinematography. I really liked a lot of things about it. I thought it was a very colorful, very lighthearted, and very good movie. Number seven, we have another spy movie. We have Bridge of Spies, and the things that I liked about this movie, you know, first off, Tom Hanks, one of the most likable actors in Hollywood. Second was just Steven Spielberg's brilliant direction. I love the art direction. I love the era, and I love the way it told this story of a man who's just trying to make things right. And Tom Hanks' character in this movie said, for everything that I love about America and everything that we represent in this some people in this movie, though, did also represent the things that are wrong with America, as I mentioned in my review. The thing that I really did love about this movie, though, is that it wasn't just all spies and guns and everything like most spy movies. It was information. It was espionage. And that is what the Cold War was about. It was more about information and words. It wasn't about, you know, this, like, the whole action scene and all that. Number six, we have Black Mass with Johnny Depp. And I'm really shocked that Johnny Depp didn't get at least nominated for an Academy Award for his portrayal of the gangster Whitey Bulger. I love crime movies. I love mafia movies. Goodfellas is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I was psyched for this movie, and I was not disappointed when I went to go see it. I love the way they portrayed everything. I love the gritty cinematography that it had. I really just love the overall film noirish look to it. It was great. I love the dialogue. I love the story, and I will definitely buy it on DVD or Blu-ray when it comes out. For number five, we have Creed, a movie that I didn't think I would really like that I ended up loving. Creed was definitely one of the best movies of the years, and like the original Rocky movie, was a sleeper hit. I didn't expect it to be all that great, but when I saw it, I loved it. I thought it was great. That's why I definitely was disappointed when I saw that Michael B. Jordan didn't get nominated for an Academy Award. I'm happy that Sylvester Stallone did, but... Michael B. Jordan, he really deserved for his performance as Adonis Creed. I mean, he did such a great job in this movie. I love the camera work in this movie. It brought back that gritty cinematography from the original Rocky. It brought back everything that you really do love about Rocky. It was great performances by Michael B. Jordan, by Sylvester Stallone, by everybody in the movie. I really loved it, and that's why I will definitely buy it on Blu-ray this summer. For number four, we have Spotlight, a movie I didn't even intend on seeing. A friend of mine took me to go see it, and I wasn't even going to do a review about it, and then after I saw Saw it, I ended up loving it. It was a great movie. I really love the cast. I mean, disturbing subject, like I mentioned in my review, but still, like, they made it a movie that was, like, it was interesting. You wanted to see these people, like, 
follow through with what their plan was, you know, with uh, Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo and the rest of the team. I really loved it. I really loved the actors. I'm glad that they got nominated. I think the movie got nominated too. Really loved it, and I thought that it was one of the best movies of the years. Another definition of a sleeper hit. For number three, we have Straight Outta Compton. That movie, I really loved it way more than I thought I would. I knew this was going to be a good movie, but I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did. It was a flawless movie. I mean, I had a few little nitpicks here and there, but other than that, like, it was a great great, great movie. Loved it so much, and I just really, I just want to go on record right now, though. I knew about who NWA was before the movie, and I always loved to blast Easy es Boys in the Hood out of my car, even though it looks like I'm an ass when I'm driving down the street. I love the music. I love all the actors in the movie. I thought that they were just spot on who they got to play these people, and it was overall great, well-constructed movie. Definitely one of the best movies of 2015. For number two, we have, uh, you guys are gonna hate me for putting this movie here, but we have Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. Now, before you guys all come at me with pitchforks and, you know, torches and all that, I just want to say I love this movie. I cannot stress this enough. I loved this movie movie. One of the best movies of the year. It was well made. The effects were great. The acting was great. Great choices to play the lead. Everything was good. The writing was there. It had a heart to it. It was great. I loved it. I just think it wasn't as good as the movie that's at number one. I'm just saying that, like, it was so great. I'm happy that it got nominated for Academy Awards. I think it got nominated for Academy Awards for the, um, the special effects, which I really hope it did. I mean, it deserves it completely. I mean, it beyond deserves it. I mean, it's just had some of the best special effects in, I've seen in a while. I mean, there's been a lot of movies, but it's nice to see that this was a movie that they put stuff in front of the camera. A lot of J.J. Abrams movies, like the start, new Star Trek movies, had that too, and I was really happy to see that. So just, like, don't get mad at me for putting this at number two. That doesn't mean that I didn't like Star Wars. I This was, this was like I said in my Star Wars review, this was the movie that made me want to start making YouTube videos. I mean, this is the movie that made me start this whole thing. I mean, just like, I loved it. I cannot say that enough. Don't kill me for putting it at number two. I mean, it was like, I really had a hard time deciding where I was going to put this in the next movie, whether I was going to put it at number two or number one. So I put it at number two because of that. Like, I, like same thing with my Straight Outta Compton, what I said about that. It's just that, yeah, there was a few little nitpicks I had with, like, the plot that it was kind of, you know, it wasn't the most original plot, but it was still really good because there was enough new things in it to make it a really good and interesting story. And that's why I say it is the second best movie of 2015. Number one, we have... Drum roll, dramatic silence. We have The Martian. The Martian is a movie that I was really waiting for all year, along with Black Mass, Star Wars, and all the other movies that I was really looking forward to this year. The Martian was up there because, like, I've always found an interest in this, you know, this subject. Because I always loved science fiction B movies from, like, the 50s and everything. And there's been a lot of movies about guys that have been left on other planets to survive, but none that have done it this scientifically accurate. And you can thank Andy Weir's writing from the novel The Martian. I mean, it was just such a great story. And then you get a director like Ridley Scott and an actor that's likable like Matt Damon. You have the best movie of 2015. I mean, this movie was amazing. I was surprised at how good it was. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. I mean, I'm so happy. I hope this wins Best Picture. This deserves it. I mean, it is such a good movie. I cannot stress that enough. The Martian is the best movie of 2015, and I loved it. I love every movie on this list. I'm so happy that I got to see these movies this year. Waiting through all the crap and mediocre movies that I did see this year, I am so happy that I got to see these great movies. And it gives me hope that there are some original ideas out there and there's some movies out there that can come along that aren't just going to be mindless remakes or whatever that will have heart and soul put into them. And this movie did. That's why I loved it and I loved everything about it. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The link are in the description below and remember I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.